Hey, happy sunshine family. Welcome back to the Lunacy Channel. We've got another update here on the crazy weather observations that we've been making in the past, what, month and even, even beyond. This has been going on a lot longer. We're just really becoming aware of it now. I saw an amazing video today on the Truth Channel and she asked for people to mirror and share her work and I think it's important enough that I'm going to do that. I'm going to show her entire video here. Keep in mind that we've got legislation on the books as of September 12th for financial aid for the victims of Hurricanes Irma and Jose. And Jose is just materializing right now, and so is Hurricane Maria. All right, let's take a look. At her video. I'll be back on the flip side. Hey guys, it's 12.17 p.m. on September 19th, 2017, and I want to replay for you a little bit of a video that I made this morning at almost exactly 11 hours ago. I want to show you what I was observing on the land, ground, and the uh, radar here from IntelliCast and uh, show you that as of 1.20 a.m., this was all we had in the Caribbean. This was a storm right here. I'm going to play just a piece of it here just to show you that you actually see the weather here at like 1.20 a.m. You actually see that there's a storm coming through here or brewing a little bit. You can kind of see it. And then what I do is I go through and I superimpose the NASA hurricane supposedly here. And then I click on the airports in this area and show you the readings of these areas are getting only 43 mile an hour winds. So let me just play this for you from last night so you guys can see. Yeah, and it's not because radar isn't picking up weather. What radar is definitely, look at this, radar is definitely picking up weather here. But it's not a hurricane. There's something very, very wrong here. Now let's superimpose the image that NASA wants us to see and see where this hurricane is supposedly pummeling. This, this hurricane is supposedly pummeling, pummeling right here in Bass Terre. So let's turn this off and zoom in and see what the wind speeds are here. Terra Bob at 1 a.m. wind speeds are 43 miles an hour. That's pretty high, but it's not a hurricane. And it's certainly, it's certainly not a Category 5. Let's keep looking. We'll get some other ones. 1 o'clock in the morning, 43 miles an hour at Port Point. All right. So these were real ground measurements from the airports that IntelliCast was getting on radar. This is what they were reporting at 1 o'clock in the morning. And I'm going to go back here, and I want you to look really closely one more time at what we see this storm doing at 1 o'clock in the morning. Okay? Just watch it, because it, it just kind of pops out of nowhere, and it just is kind of there. Okay? So there it is. That's a storm that was there at 1 o'clock in the morning. And I hit play, and I'm recording it live time on my computer at 1.20 a.m., and that's all we have. Now remember that, because I'm going to show you something else that ought to make you sick. This is current. This is current. I'm going to show you current side by side here. Let's do side by side. How did this happen in 10 hours, you guys? I just want to know how this freaking happened in 10 hours. I'm going to show you it again. How did this happen in 10 hours? How did we get a hurricane on radar in 10 hours when the ground speeds that were being reported right here, there's no hurricane here. There, there is no hurricane here at 1 o'clock in the morning. And I show you, I show you the best tear wind speeds. I click on Bass Terre and I show you that there was no hurricane there at, at eight or 1 o'clock in the morning. Point Apitra right there at 43 miles an hour. There is no hurricane here at 1 o'clock in the morning. How come there is one now? Where the hell did this hurricane come from? 
Now let's take a peek and see what kind of hurricane this really is. I just want you to look at this one more time, side by side here, guys. This was 10 hours ago, 11 hours ago. This is what NASA has been showing us in their cartoonery here to the left. But this was the real storm. This was all there was at one o'clock in the morning. Just one more look. There's no hurricane there at one o'clock in the morning. Now, 11 hours later, I'm gonna show you what has happened. What has become, what has taken form? Why wasn't this here? I don't know, but let me show you. I wanna show you this. Let's go, I'm gonna make the screen bigger and I'm gonna show you this whole thing here, if it will let me. I wanna to get to Juan Apitra. see Juan Apitra right there. So we're going to go right back to the island that I showed you at one o'clock in the morning and I want to look at the wind speeds because this is supposedly where the eye of this hurricane is passed, it just supposedly passed through and I'm going to show you that. Okay, Juan Apitra right now as of 12 p.m. right this just just literally 22 minutes ago is reporting wind speeds of 29 miles an hour. Let's make sure that the hurricane hasn't passed through there. Okay, because its wind speeds are 29 miles an hour right this very minute, although there's a hurricane off to the west of there. Let's make sure that the hurricane didn't just pass through there, and I'm not just capturing the last few minutes after the hurricane when everything's calm and quiet. Now, these are the wind speeds. No, the hurricane did not pass through there. No hurricane has passed through there. The highest wind speed was at 4.30 in the morning, which I actually captured in the 40s at one o'clock in the morning, 43, 46 miles an hour, and now it's dropped down to 23. So no hurricane passed through Puana Pitra, okay? It's, there is no hurricane here. There was no hurricane here. I showed you on the radar there was no hurricane there. Now all of a sudden, now all of a sudden, something that actually looks like a hurricane is actually there. Where the hell did this come from? Where did this come from? And why aren't we registering it in the area that it just passed through, okay? That's, a, that's what I want to know. Let's go to the next landmass here at Nevis. <coughs> Montserrat, the wind speed is 36 miles an hour as of 12 p.m. Let's go to Nevis. Chits, right here. Let's see, because they're pretty close to where this hurricane is supposed to be. Their, their wind speed is 36 miles an hour. Okay, that's right here. Let's look at this one. This is Montserrat, Montserrat, 36 miles an hour. You guys, it, they're cooking this storm up. And now it looks like a hurricane. I'm not denying that this is on radar, but we've got to use the wind speeds, and we've got to ask, why wasn't this thing here last night at 1 o'clock in the morning? Supposedly, according to NASA, this thing has been here for 24 hours. In fact, they keep showing this repeated image here. They keep showing this repeated image here of NASA, of this stupid hurricane hitting this poor little island of, of um, what is that, Dominica, over and over again. This has been the same radar image or satellite image that we've seen for 24 hours. <sighs> even at this very moment, even at this very moment, I'm going to show you, even at this very moment, we do not have. These two maps do not match. This is real time, supposedly up to moment real time, and this is definitely real time. This is definitely on the radar right this minute. Let the computer load here. Let it get us our image. They're not even hitting the right place. I want to show you that they're not even they're not even consistently hitting the right place. The radar is showing that this is north of Guadalupe, and this NASA image, as of right now, is south of Guadalupe. I know we don't know our geography really well. It's I've had to learn it myself, so let me just show you. I'll, tell, I'll show you how we can tell what Guadalupe is. Guadalupe is this island that has a little chunk off of it, okay, off to the northeast of it. There's a little chunk. So let's go back to the NASA cartoonery here. And you can see, here's the part that has a little chunk on it. So the eye of this hurricane is passing south of Guadalupe here. But here, 
same times, same time frames, this this eye of this hurricane is supposedly a hurricane. It just it's not registering wind speeds of a hurricane, which is what define a hurricane. Which is why it makes it so hard to call this thing a hurricane, but it looks like one. So let's just go with what it looks like. It's far north of Guadalupe. You see that? This is a couple hundred miles, guys. Look at this. I'm going to zoom in on Guadalupe here and show you guys what Guadalupe looks like. It's this island right here. It's taking my computer a little bit to load this page. I'm sorry this is taking so long, but this is so important. And I'm just sick to my stomach about this. See? This storm right here is going south of Guadalupe, whereas this one is showing it north of Guadalupe. It's just not the same storm. This is real radar. This is actually happening, you guys. And that's why I, I've been documenting this. That's why I bothered to do that video that I just showed you last night. I encourage you guys to please go back and look at that. They are cooking these hurricanes up out of nothing, out of a storm that I showed you guys last night was just kind of hovering here. All right, so this is the analysis that I'm giving for Hurricane Maria, which isn't a hurricane yet. It does, it's not even registering wind speeds, but it's actually spinning around. So there we go, guys. We got the hurricane that NASA was telling us we were going to get. It doesn't match the NASA images. Nothing's matched the NASA's images yet. But here we go. This is it. Now, I'd also, I'll just do one more thing here because this is another thing that's making me disgusted. So I want to look here down um, at this island of... Uh, Dominica. Go through my last several videos, you guys. I, I documented the wind speeds at Dominica. They did not exceed 40 miles an hour. They didn't, they didn't even come close. So we're going to go to Margo, Dominica, which stopped reporting yesterday at 7. And as a hurricane approached the city, the, the island, you would think it would register winds really high, but it doesn't. It doesn't. They just stopped reporting. I'm going to show you the last recorded wind speeds in Dominica were 26 miles an hour. Their power went down at 26 miles an hour. Really? Really? 46 miles an hour were the gusts. But the wind speeds, they have to be sustained wind speeds of 74 miles an hour or, or more for it to be a hurricane. And supposedly, according to all these uh, news organizations, you know, I don't want to disagree with the news, you guys. I want this stuff to be true, too. I want this stuff to be true so that way I don't have to sit here and try and explain why it's not even close to true. But this is not a hurricane category five. Not yet. It's going to be. It's turning into one. But that's because they're making it right in front of our stupid faces. You people, we have to start looking at this. This is, this is really horrible what's happening here. And I don't want anybody to give me any grief about this. Here's the bottom line, you guys with your big freaking mouths. You explain to me why it wasn't on radar at 1 o'clock in the morning, and now suddenly that exact same store, which was on radar but wasn't a hurricane, is suddenly now a hurricane. That's what I want. I want you big mouths to come up and step up to the plate and give me an explanation with how come they were reporting a Category 5 hurricane at 1 o'clock in the morning. You guys tell me why they were reporting a Category 5 hurricane at 1 o'clock in the morning, how come this was on radar at 1 o'clock in the morning? I'm going to show you one more time. I'm going to just do one more side by side. And you big mouths can sit there and you can explain this to me. I want you to explain this to me and everybody else who's watching this. How, come, how did this happen? How did this storm become this storm in 10 hours, 11 hours? I want to know, you guys with your big mouths, because this hurricane, supposed hurricane, is on... This storm, which is now swirling around to look an awful lot like a hurricane, is on radar now. It wasn't on radar last night. How do you explain that? How do you idiots explain the fact that this thing was reported by NASA as being a hurricane, and yet it wasn't looking anything like a hurricane, and yet now, 10 hours later, the exact same radars in the exact same positions are fucking reporting a hurricane? I want to know, because I'm sick and tired of your mouthiness. You guys sit there and you, 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 you're like trolls. You know, you're like a, 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 the, the controlled opposition thing that Stalin did. Shame on you, because this is a monstrosity. This is a crime against humanity being perpetrated right now, and we have them caught on radar. I want to know, when you guys sit there and you tell me that this radar image isn't going to catch a, a hurricane, how come it's catching it now? 
How come it didn't catch it at one o'clock in the morning? I want to know. So before you idiots go and post all your stupid comments here, I want I want explanations for this because this is a crime and this is going to kill people. This is going to kill people. So don't sit there and tell me that this is not important information. We're actually watching the gun being loaded right this very minute. And shame on you people for giving me grief about this because none of you are actually recording this. And everybody who is interested in this, God bless you people. God bless you people. And please, would you please, please upload this video and make copies of it and edit it however you need to. Like, just keep the data fresh and you guys can edit my voice. I know it's obnoxious and I know I'm not doing a great job with these videos, but you guys, this information is so critical. Okay, well, I think any voice that speaks the truth as eloquently as hers is a beautiful voice and one that deserves to be mirrored. So that's why I'm playing this video. I've got a lot of the same questions that she does. And, you know, just think about how there's legislation already uh, for the survivors, the American survivors of... Hurricane Jose that is materializing, and now Hurricane Maria that is materializing. You know, it. she used the words that she's sick to her stomach, and, and I'm sick to my stomach too. Uh, we need to unwind this in a safe, sane, and peaceful manner, and I don't know how to do that. But the only thing that I know how to do at this point is to let all of you know that it looks like my father was in a position to at the very least know something about what might be going on right now. And somehow with universal divine help between where we are now and where we need to be Grace is going to craft and hold some amazing space for us to share some information in a peaceful and loving way so that we can come together and unwind this fucking mess. And I'm, and I'm just beside myself wondering whether or not my dad had anything to do with anything of this nature. So please, share this information, it's important. People are suffering because of what a runaway government is doing. And people are feeling trapped as far as spreading their light about how to unwind this and what's truly going on. Alright, I love you guys a lot. Thank you so much for all of the love that you've sent me as I <sighs> as I've been searching for who I am uh, relative to relative to my closest family members uh, the support's been wonderful you guys are great peace out